Hi, and this is a multiplication timetable I developed using Microsoft Word or Document Word. And I'm just going to demonstrate how it works. If I click on table, there, enter a number to be multi not multiplied. So you enter a value in there. Let's say you want to go for maybe 11 timetable. Click on that right there. And the system will give you 11 timetable. You can always reset 5 timetable right there. Or if you want, you can add multiple timetable there. Let's go back in there with that short again right there. Let's change that to 7 and there. So let's go for 12. Okay, that's how it works. So what I will do next is take you guys straight into Microsoft Document Word so that you see how I put this together. Welcome to Microsoft Word Document Interactive Tutorial. In this session, I will be developing a multiplication timetable. So let's start. If you don't have your developer tab up here, go to File options select customize ribbon and make sure the developer tab right there is checked then you apply it click on ok once that is sorted depending on how you want your interface to look like I will, I will want my interface to look something about that so the first part of it that will be for my title and the second part of it that will be for the buttons and so on so let's start by merging this very part of it I'm going to merge it there now the second part of it get that open and up here I will then enter the list box there now let's scroll right down and get ourselves a list box there we go we have a list box and there is our list box okay maybe move it down a little bit more so let's just drag it and add a little bit more space right there okay the next thing I will do is to add the label let me come into legacy and just enter a label so I need Microsoft form label so there we go we have Microsoft form label um, the next thing is let's go for the property and right in there where it says caption enter multiplication timetable there or multiplication table I uh, will now change the background. Let's change the background of this label. I mean, let's make it white. Then the text on it. Let's change the text to something readable. Maybe that bold, maybe. Yeah. Let's see what will happen with that. And let's change the font color to white. So the next thing is drag this down a little bit and just drag it along let's see okay we have a multiplication timetable I think we have enough room here to move this one down a little bit more and just drag it down there okay and just use it to cover the whole table now the next thing is let's get this text let's get it centered right there get it centered now we we'll go straight into our form and then or into the document and declare the following variable. Let me take this up a little bit more. Yeah, now I do. But just before that, maybe we should add. Let's add a button right here. Let's come back in here. Get ourselves a button. So we we'll go back to the Microsoft form button. Of Microsoft form command button is called uh, we see there we go we have a button right there okay the other thing that we're going to need is we're going to need let me move this button up there 
we're going to need a text box let's get a text box into place we need a text box and maybe a couple of labels as well a label now we need a text box right there okay on this text box let's enter on that very label sorry let's enter the following okay enter number to multiply so we should increase the font size let's come right down here and increase that font size make that 20 and we can always move this up anyway this text box as well let's increase the size to 20 as well all right that's fine and we then need this command button we change the, the text data on it let's change that to timetable and here we just reset let's call this reset table reset table okay maybe if you want let's give them a name so that would be cmd reset why this one is cmd table let's go back there cmd table right and this text box will be txt txt table or times table and the list box lst table yeah that's fine there now the next thing we want to do is double click on this very button and right up here let's go up here and enter option explicit option explicit is used to declare more or less a global variable using VBA so right below right below it we enter the following variable okay now we're going to be using for loop to get this sorted okay the next thing is let's enter some codes in here double click on that and just enter if txt table dot text then okay the next thing is to use a message box box to inform the end user to enter a value so now let's use else okay else we then use a for loop for timetable that's the four that's the timetable right up there of course one two twelve okay so we want let's just enter next here we want the list box itself which is uh, lst table dot add item okay and the item to be added will be as follows there okay so we now come down here and just enter and if now the next thing is let's come in here you see this reset button let's click on that and just reset the table just to clear it and we need to also clear the list box dot clear there so now let's come back here and just give it a try okay first of all we won't enter any value in here let's click on see that so it's asking us there's nothing in there enter a number to multi to be multiplied so let's enter maybe eight if we click on that right there okay so that is how it works in microsoft word the next thing i'll just do now is to is to sort of like modify the interface make it look a little bit uh, much better than how it is now okay first of all let's increase the font on this list box right here come right here and increase the font make that bold and let's go for about maybe 14 
and there we go. Yeah, let's leave it left centered and this text box. Let's increase the font and get it centered anyway. Let's come for about 14. Okay, it's 20 day anyway. That's fine. And we should change this to maybe 16. Let's see, 16. And we give that. We give it a shot and see what will happen. Click on the design and just enter a value there okay that's fine but 12 is missing maybe we should just drag it down a little bit more i think we do have enough room yeah why not okay let's come back in here let's go to back in here back to design view and use the reset button to get rid of that just drag it down okay that should do it all right so the next thing is let's select this table now right click go to the table property itself come to where it says border and let's modify the border i think maybe i should go for this let's see how that will look like yeah why not it looks big and yeah it looks a bit all right okay this up a little bit and that is how you develop an interactive multiplication timetable using microsoft word now the next thing is just let's just increase the font on these buttons okay we've increased the font on the button and if i zoom that in that's how it's looking right now okay so if we run it again click on design mode enter value there maybe 12 timetable check that out and that is how you develop a multiplication timetable using microsoft word but right here there's something missing here oh that might be too long so let's go back to design view and just move this a little bit so that should do it i should take care of that so give that a try again there and that's how you develop a multiplication timetable and interactive multiplication timetable using document word so with that i'll call it bye for now